Order pickers are designed for applications that require an operator to be elevated to pick product at different levels. They are primarily used in case picking, broken case, or piece picking applications. Before you operate your order picker truck, be sure to familiarize yourself with the operator's manual, located on top of the motor compartment cover. The operating manual describes the operation and basic maintenance of the Yale order picker lift trucks. The lift truck nameplate is located inside the operator compartment on the left-hand overhead guard leg. The capacity, specified in kilograms and pounds, is listed in terms of weight and load center, specified in millimeters or inches. The capacity is the maximum load the lift truck can handle for the load condition shown on the nameplate. If the lift truck has special load handling equipment, the rating will be shown on the nameplate. A low 9-inch step height allows the operator to access the operator compartment or platform. A 1-inch thick rubber floor mat provides superior comfort for operators and increases productivity by reducing fatigue. The operator compartment is designed for a forward stance operating position, forks trailing, when driving in the forward direction as looking through the mast. In specific circumstances, the truck can be driven in the fork's leading direction by maintaining the forward stance position and looking over one shoulder. Inside the operator compartment, you'll see a multi-function touchscreen display, quick power disconnect, key on-off switch, a storage tray, clipboard storage tray, beverage holder, removable wastebasket, and a steer handle. You will also notice a multi-function control handle that controls direction, speed, and lift lower functions. Once inside the operator compartment, you may fit yourself with a full body harness. Make sure the tether or lanyard is securely fastened to the anchor bar located in the center of the rear overhead guard plate. The key switch is used to energize and de-energize the lift truck's electrical circuits. The battery disconnect switch is located next to the key switch on top of the console cover. This switch shuts off all electrical power to the lift truck. To engage the power disconnect circuit, simply push the button. Rotate the head of the switch clockwise to release. Once positioned in the operator compartment, with the body harness on, key switch and side gates lowered, place the left foot on the red operator foot sensing button to energize the traction system. The multifunction control handle provides simultaneous control of traction, forward and reverse, horn, and lift lower functions. Pushing the handle forward, away from operator, the truck travels in a chassis first direction. Pulling the handle backward toward the operator, the truck travels forks first. An easy reach trigger style horn button is shaped to allow the operator to rest their hand comfortably on the handle. There are three positions the handle can be rotated in to accommodate the operator's preference. When the multifunction control handle is returned to the neutral position, the truck will automatically regen to a stop. The regen is an adjustable parameter within the dash display. The operator should always keep their hands on the multifunction control handle and or steering control. When the multifunction control handle is positioned in the opposite direction of travel, the truck will regen to a stop. The amount of braking applied is variable according to the multifunction control handle position. This too is an adjustable parameter within the dash display. By stepping off the foot switch, the electric park brake is automatically applied, resulting in the truck coming to an abrupt stop. In an emergency, the unit can be stopped by pressing down the quick power disconnect switch. In the forward stance position, with the key switch on and the foot switch depressed, Rotating the thumb switch up away from the operator will engage the lift function. Rotating the thumb switch down towards the operator will engage the lower function. Hydraulic control is limited to lifting and lowering. The Yale Order Picker is available with a standard multi-turn steer system and an optional smart steer system. When traveling in the chassis first direction, rotating the multi-turn steer handle to the left, the chassis end of the truck will turn to the left. When rotating the handle to the right, the chassis end of the truck will turn to the right. The steer tire position will remain in the position it was when the last steer input was initiated. The lift truck battery can be removed from either side of the truck. 
right side removal is preferred to avoid damage to the battery cables. A roller rack under the battery ensures easy battery movement. The battery must have spacers installed to prevent more than 13 millimeters, 0 0.50 inches of horizontal movement of the battery. The battery restraint panels must be in place before operating the lift truck. The battery can be left in the lift truck for charging as well with the compartment sides open. If removing the battery from the unit, Yale recommends having the proper equipment and training available. The multi-function operator display panel features the following. A graphic backlit LCD screen that holds up to four lines with 16 characters. Four operator programmable performance modes that can be selected by pressing the buttons numbered one through four. Visuals for steer angle, travel direction, acceleration rate, travel speed in miles per hour and kilometers per hour, traction, lift, hoist, auxiliary, and total truck hours, diagnostics and fault codes, battery state of charge, and a truck inspection checklist. Below the LCD screen, there are five LED status indicators. The battery icon indicates that 10% or less of the battery charge remains. The wrench icon indicates that there is an active fault in the system. The thermometer icon indicates that a motor or motor controller exceeds or is below pre-programmed limits. The operator presence icon indicates when operator is not in the correct position for truck operation or the parking brake is applied. The warning icon indicates that there are issues with calibration, incomplete checklist, or maintenance reminders. A welded overhead guard is a key safety component of the operator compartment designed to protect the operator from falling objects. An energy absorbing or retractable lanyard and full body harness is required to operate a rising lifting platform order picker. Side gates are also required for order pickers as an operator protection feature. Truck accessories offered by Yale to customize the truck to your application include the following. Body fan, dome light, and two-speed fan package with adjustable spotlights, standalone LED spotlights, lift limit, lift limit with override, lower limit with override, wire guidance, rail guidance, 24 or 36 volt power supply. This product orientation video only covers the standard EA26, A474, A497 series, OS030BF, SS030BF, FS030BF. If your truck is equipped with any options, please contact your Yale dealer for more information.